Welcome to BizJet TV. My name is Fabrizio Poli. I'm your aviation advisor. And today we're going to be talking about three tips to help you choose the right private jet. Now, if you've come to this episode of BizJet TV, chances are you're thinking of buying a jet. Uh, there are other solutions as well. You don't necessarily have to buy. We'll be talking about that in the three tips. Um, but, you know, the whole virus situation has created an awareness about, you know, how much more you can be exposed if you're traveling with the airlines. So more and more people are looking to private jet travel. And we see that, you know, Warren Buffett, the owner of NetJets, has decided to increase the fleet by 30%. So he's pouring, he's investing more money because uh, he knows that more and more people are going to be flying private. So the question is always, if you're not going to fly private, well, maybe your competition is. So the business jet is a great business tool. And that's what we, we talk about here on BizJet TV. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, I encourage you to subscribe. Give us a thumbs up and comment below after this episode. We'd love to hear from you, hear your thoughts and also recommendations and suggestions for future episodes. So let's get straight into the three tips for choosing the right private jet. Off we go. So, um, three tips to choosing the right private jet. Now, the three tips are very simple. The first is to use a professional advisor. The second is think about your business. And number three, you're buying time and it's more than just the jet. So let's get straight into these three tips that I have here for you. Uh, let's look at the first one. Uh, why choose a professional aviation advisor? Now, um, this is important because you're probably a business person um, or you're somebody that's just made a lot of money. And uh, so most people that buy private jets don't know much or sometimes know nothing about aeroplanes. I was just talking to a gentleman the other day uh, that a few years ago he decided to buy a private jet because he needed it for business. He handed over the task to his CFO uh, and the CFO thought it would be a good idea to buy the fastest jet that you could find. Uh, but then, you know, when they took delivery of the jet, they started flying the jet. Uh, they discovered that this jet was very fast and it was the fastest, but it didn't really have the range that they needed for the places they needed to go to. So they have to kept stopping in between to refuel. And that was obviously putting more time on each flight. So he said, you know, I should have really reached out to a professional. This time he did. And guess who he called? He called me. We had a good conversation because he needs to buy a jet for his new business. And so we went through the whole motions and it's important to, for me to understand your business. And this is where we come on to point number two, which is think about your business. So what we need to look at, what you need to look at when you're buying a private jet is think about where you're going to be going and how often and how many people you're going to be carrying, but also how you could use the jet to go and pick people up and bring them into you to see you. So the, these are things that you have to sort of think about. And then also think, well, if I had a bigger jet or if I had a jet that had a bit more range, where else could I go? Um, and let's see what the extra cost is. Does it fit into my budget? Or maybe instead of buying the jet, why don't I lease the jet? Uh, because the lease allows me uh, to, you know, not have to outlay, I don't know, $20 million to buy the airplane or $10 million to buy the airplane. Uh, maybe the lease is going to cost me you know, three, four, five, six million a year, but I'm not paying the six million right in one go. I'm paying it over 12 months. And if you've got a certain cash flow in your business, it may be that leasing an airplane gets you into a bigger airplane or an airplane with more range or a newer airplane than if you go out and buy. So, but these are things that, you know, you'll learn. Um, find out better if you're guided by an aviation advisor. Now, the third thing is you're buying time and it's more than just the jet. So um, when you're thinking of buying a private jet, the two reasons people buy is they want more flexibility and they want more time. So you have to choose the jet carefully, but it's not just about the jet because the jet's flown by human beings. And so it has to be flown by pilots. I was talking to a gentleman the other day. He was telling me about a couple of friends of his um, that um, went out and bought a jet and they totally didn't consider that the whole pilot thing, they hired the wrong person. Um, they only hired one pilot. They were using a freelance guy uh, when they needed to fly. And the problem is that, you know, these people weren't always available when they needed to fly. So <laughs> there's, there's your time gone completely out the window there. So, you know, and again, a, 
a good professional aviation advisor will advise you not only on the airplane, but also on the pilots and which pilots to hire and how many pilots to hire and why. And all these things are important. Now, the other thing is the pilot training. And you've heard me talk about pilot training before on here. And if you haven't, you can click on a video above and talk about private jet, uh, pilot uh, training. But I'd like to talk to you about uh, something that just recently happened. The NBAA gave a, a award to two pilots. It's the Above and Beyond Airmanship Award. This was just awarded to Bruce Monnier and Gerald Downs. Now, these two gentlemen were flying a Cessna Citation II on an air ambulance flight. Uh, this was back in May 2019. And they were at 35,000 feet um, over Florida. And uh, suddenly one engine uh, spooled back and failed. Uh, so they started to descend and uh, divert to uh, the most suitable airport, which is what you do when you have an engine failure. Land at the nearest suitable airport. That's what the checklist says. Um, and then as they were coming, I think about 15,000 feet, the second engine failed. So they immediately figured out that there must be a problem with the fuel. Uh, now, they went back to their gliding days. They went back to, you know, they talked to each other. There were two experienced pilots. But the thing that really did help them the most was the fact that when they had been through their simulator training, um, during their recurrent training, they had actually done some extra simulator time. And one of the things they had simulated was a dual engine failure. So they had that experience to fall back on because, of course, you know, simulators can train you for many things. But what the simulator does mainly is two important things. One, it builds more knowledge in your pilot. And number two, it builds confidence. And the knowledge and the confidence and the experience, of course, of having been through the double engine failure in the simulator helped these guys to stay calm, manage the situation. They landed the airplane with no problem. There was no damage to the airplane. No one was injured. It was perfect landing and they fixed the, the fuel issue the fuel actually was contaminated fuel and this has happened a number of times over the last few years with with the citations with with this contaminated fuel and, and there's another video you can look at um, about those guys that landed in the cornfield similar situation so um, what does this tell you it's not just about the airplane it's also you know it, it, it's also about the pilots and the training and that and so these are you know three important elements you have to consider when you're buying a private jet but, you know, um, you can reach out to me, um, ping me an email, we'll schedule you in for a call. Um, we'll go through, you know, things about your business and about what you're, what you're looking to achieve with the private jet. And, you know, my team and I will guide you in, in the right way, not only in the acquisition of the aircraft, but also on the hiring of the pilots and management of the airplane. These are all things that we can do for you at Kaizen Aerospace. And uh, yeah, and if you haven't subscribed to BizJet TV, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. Um, have a look at the other videos and the other content here. The purpose of the channel is to educate you about private aviation um, and lots of other things related to flying. And um, we've done a few interviews lately about space and the space business, which is an interesting one. So you may want to check those videos on aerospace. Um, that's an interesting one. And please, you know, comment below any suggestions, recommendations for the future of the future videos would be great. Give us a thumbs up and share this video. Share this video with friends and family and and other work associates and that. Uh, we really want to get the word out there that you know the business jet is a great business tool. And now, you know, in the world of COVID-19 and that, you know, people are a bit weary about flying with the airlines. And if you have, you know, the money to uh, be able to fly private, it certainly is the way of the future. So I'd encourage you to sort of look into this. And that's all from Fabrizio Party here on BizJet TV, and I'll see you on the next one.